Now, not everybody's on town water. Some of us were on well water. You might get it out of a pond or the river in the back of your house or your little creek. This is the best way of testing that type of water. It could be the hardness issue. You could have really problem with hardness. You could have problem with a lot of the metals. Sulfur, copper, iron. There's all kinds of issues you could have with with that type of water. It's not filtered out. So you might have to use different chemicals than someone who is on town water. So I'll give you the basics that you need to do and some tricks that uh, more than likely, if you're on well water, you already know about this. Now, the first one is, now you get a bottle like this at the health department, in Canada anyway, I don't know about the US if they have health units. And if you're using this tap, to fill up a hot tub, then then make sure that the hose is hooked up and everything. It could be something in the hose. Fill this out, fill the whole form out, fill this up, you know, just follow along what it says here. Fill it up, drop it off the health unit. And especially if you're on well water, you're probably gonna do this anyway. Cause if you go to a pool place, they don't test for a lot of this stuff. So once you get the print out of this from the health unit, you can look on it and and determine what chemicals you need. You can find out what all the metals are. If you have a copper issue, sulfur issue, uh, iron issue, any type of metal issue and everything else, it, uh, they test everything. The water you put in your tub, instead of getting a broad range of chemicals, you can narrow it down to a certain few that are really problematic. Now we're just gonna use the, the basic chemicals that you would normally use each week, normal test kits. You're gonna use your alkalinity, your pH up and down. If you have a phosphate problem, use phosphates, your sanitation. And I recommend the spa metal free if you have metal issues. Now, this stuff here covers the iron, the copper, and other trace metals. This is the only one I found that if you have all those metals in there, this is pretty much the best one out there that takes care of all of that. Now I'm sure you can find other chemicals out there if you have a problem, a higher problem in copper. There's stuff out there, it's called cop out. You can use that stuff too. You might wanna think of changing your heater element. The reasoning for that is any of the metals that's not filtered out, it's gonna stick all to that element. I don't know if you can see in there. See those marks on there? The white, the white stuff? This element was brand new. 30 minutes later, it tripped the breaker. Really bad well water. So it was running for about 30 minutes, tripped the breaker, and I opened it up, and uh, that was all stuck to it, and. You know, that element wasn't wasn't a titanium one. It was just a standard element. This one here is the titanium and it will, won't stick to it. It'll go right by it. That's why it's a good idea to test your water from the health department and just use your basic chemicals. Now, if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to us, and then we'll see you on the next one.